R0 by 2 divided by T half that is equal to K is equal to half R0, R0 minus R0 by 2 is R0 by 2 divided by T half that is equal to T half is equal to R0 upon 2K or K is equal to R0 divided by 2 T half. I hope it is clear to you. It is a very interesting derivation. You are given an example of a zero order reaction in your textbook which is decomposition of ammonia 2 NH3 giving N2 plus 3 H2. This is a known example for a zero order reaction which follows zero order kinetics. Now we are going to derive integrated right expression for first order reaction. Zero order reaction we have derived first order reaction and its half life. You see consider reaction reactant giving products. In this case if I write rate is equal to K into concentration of the reactants raised to 1. For first order reaction it is raised to 1 of course naturally. So this case rate is equal to dr by dt minus since the reactant the concentration is amount of reactants the, the amount of uh, reactant concentration is decreasing that is minus B dr by dt is equal to k into r raised to 1. This is expression for rate change in concentration with, uh, with the time change in concentration since it is reactant reactant amount de decreases so I am writing minus dr. So I am shifting little bit the equation I am shifting dr upon R similar term I am bringing down is equal to K into DT minus I and I am shifting to that side. Now I am going to integrate integrating this expression dr by R is equal to logarithm to the natural logarithm R integral dr by R is equal to integral dx by x is log x integral as that you should know integral dx by x is equal to natural logarithm x. So integral dr by r is ln r, k is a constant so it won't change minus k integral dt is t as usual i is constant of integration. This equation I am writing it as 1. This equation I am writing it as 1. I should find out the value of i as we have seen in the last case. If r is r0 which is initial concentration time will be 0. Initial time that is t is equal to 0, r is r0, t is initial time remember it is not that time is 0, concentration is 0, when the reaction starts that time is t0, t is equal to 0, then r, concentration is r0. Then if I write, put it in this expression, ln r0 is equal to k into 0 plus i or i is equal to ln r0, this is minus k this term becomes 0, so i is equal to ln r 0. Put this expression in equation 1. Putting the value of i is equal to r 0 in equation 1. Then we get equation 1 is this ln r is equal to minus k into t plus i tha equation 1. i ke jaga what we will write? ln R0, I should write ln R0, this is not R0, ln R0 plus ln R0, okay. Now I am writing, taking the similar terms, this is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, this is our intercept, this is slope, if I plot a diagram here, ln R versus t will be a straight line having slope minus slope is equal to k and intercept is equal to ln r0. Hope you understood y is equal to mx plus c, L y versus t will be a straight line having slope minus k and intercept is equal to ln r0. This equation I am numbering it as 2. From equation 2, from equation 2, I am changing it as ln r0 minus ln r is equal to k into t or ln r0 upon r 
is equal to k into t. We normally use logarithm to the base 10. So convert natural logarithm to the logarithm to the base 10. I need to multiply it with 2.303, that you know. So I am going to multiply it with 2.303. So the expression becomes 2.303 log r0 upon r is equal to k into t. This I am numbering it as equation 3. This equation gives you the relationship between rate constant and time and even the initial concentration and concentration after time t. The r0 is initial concentration, r is concentration after time t, k is rate constant. So if I, this expression, this equation, if you see, this, this also I can plot. If I draw a diagram from this equation, ln r0 upon r versus t will be a straight line starting from the origin. Why? There is no intercept. K t plus kuchinaya means there is no intercept. So it will be a straight line having slope k. This will have a slope k. Children clear to you? Two graphs I have drawn. One was ln r versus t which was a straight line which is a straight line having slope minus slope is k and intercept is r0. Same equation if you see this is not having a intercept. So I can write ln r0 upon r is t so and it has got a slope k. This expression equation 3 is a very famous or very known equation to calculate the rate constant for a first order reaction. This case what I meant to tell you is you see children here I need to calculate t half. As I have told you when t is 0 r is r0 this is initial concentration. When time is half t is t half r is r0 upon 2 initial time this is half time the reaction then the amount initial amount become half substituting this value in equation 3 substituting this value in equation 3 we get 2.303 log r0 upon r k jaga what will come r0 by 2 that is equal to k into t half if t is t half, r is r0 by 2 naturally. So I am writing it as 2.303 t half I am putting down divided by t half is equal to log r0 divided by r0 by 2 is log 2. That is equal to k. Log 2 as you know it is 0 0.3010. I am putting the value here. So I will get 0.693 by t half is equal to k or k is equal to t half is equal to 0 0.693 upon k. This expression give you an idea whether the rate constant of a first order reaction is independent of the concentration or half life of a first order reaction is independent of the concentration of the reactants. Children, hope it is clear to you. You can go through once again the content from one to last. So this is a very important derivation. to discuss about the temperature dependence of reaction rate. Uh, you before that I have to tell you two three terms which you have studied in your uh, 11th standard I hope. Uh, first one is activation energy, second one is threshold energy. Every reactant should have a minimum energy to get converted into product that minimum energy with which the reactant need or should have for a particular chemical reaction to take place that energy is called a threshold energy. If you take a vessel full of reactants, it is not necessary that all the reactant molecules will have the same energy. Some will have very high energy, 
Some will have very low energy. Most of them will have average energy. So amount of energy needed for a chemical reaction to take place, that energy is called a threshold energy. And suppose the reactant do not have threshold energy, we have to supply the extra energy in the form of heat or some other means. So the extra energy we are supplying to the reaction system for the reaction to take place, that energy is called activation energy, energy of activation. The extra energy supplied by, by us for the reaction to take place, that energy is called energy of activation. Hope it is clear to you. So, Arrhenius gave a relationship between the energy of activation, gas constant and rate constant of a particular reaction as K is equal to A into E raised to Ea upon RT where Ea is energy of activation, K is rate constant of a reaction, R is gas constant at a particular temperature T. Now here H2 plus I2 combined form Hi, as you know this is potential energy of the reactants and products if I plot, reactant will have always higher energy than products. This is the energy of activation in the sense this much energy reactant should have to convert to product. The reactant those who do not have activation energy, we have to provide extra energy that energy which needed for the reaction to take place is called threshold. We have to provide the extra energy that energy is called activation energy for the reaction to take place. There is a activated complex theory and uh, uh, activated complex theory and collision theory which is given in your textbook for a chemical reaction, how the chemical reaction takes place and all that we will discuss later. Here you can see if I take logarithm of this equation, natural logarithm ln k is equal to, this is a constant ln a plus log e raised to x is x. So it is minus e upon rt minus Ea upon Rt plus ln A. ln K is equal to minus Ea upon Rt upon ln A. At temperature T, this equation I am writing in two different temperatures at temperature T1 and temperature T2. T1 it become ln K1 is equal to minus Ea upon Rt1 plus ln A 2 and 3 and subtracting equation 3 from equation 2 I will get ln k2 minus ln k1 is equal to Ea upon R t2 minus Ea upon R t1. ln a minus ln a it naturally get cancels. That is Ea upon R I am taking out 1 by t2 minus 1 by t1. Log a minus log b is equal to log a by b. So ln k2 by ln k1, k2 minus k1 become k2 by k1 is equal to Ea upon R. This I am taking LCM t1 t2 t2 minus t1 upon t1 t2 subtract equation three, 2 from 3 so that k2 by k1 is equal to Ea upon R is common in these two cases taken it out 1 by t2 minus 1 by t1 has become t2 minus t1 divided by t1 t2 this is simple mathematics log k2 I am converting logarithm natural logarithm to the logarithm to the base 10 so it has to be multiplied with the 2.303 to convert it. So here log k2 upon k1 is equal to Ea upon 2.303 R t2 minus t1 upon t1 t2. Here you can do the calculations also. This is Arrhenius relationship which Arrhenius relationship which explains the temperature dependence of a chemical reaction. Uh, there are two theories given in your book for uh, the effective product formation. One is collision theory, other one is activated, activated complex theory. As uh, this diagram I have explained to you once for uh, energy of activation and threshold energy. This is uh, for activated complex theory. Reactants when it combines, this should have a sufficient energy which is called threshold energy. If not there, we provide energy as energy of activation. They combine and form an unstable compound which is an activated complex which decompose and give you a product. So activated complex theory says, you will have an activated complex or a reaction intermediate in the reaction system. Many cases it is being isolated also, which is unstable, which will decompose and give you a set of products. Collision theory as the term indicates, uh, when reactants collide each other, it will give products. With the effective collisions, all the collisions are not fruitful. The collisions which are effective means which gives the products, 
that collisions are called effective collisions which can be number of collisions per second per unit volume of the reactant it is called a collision frequency which is ZAB. So, the rate expression can be written as it is modified and written as ZAB which is collision frequency into E raised to minus E upon RT this term you are very familiar E is activation energy R is gas constant T is temperature. So, the Arrhenius equation we modify and write like this for the collisions where ZAB is collisions frequency means number of collisions more the collisions more the effective the product formations more the effective collisions I should say more effective will be the product formations. This is a brief description of collision theory and activated complex theory. We need to do at least 2 3 numericals which frequently asked in board examination. This question you can go across consider a reaction this is a very simple question a reaction is first order in A and second order in B. Write the differential equation, write the differential equation. Differential equation if I write A part answer is rate is equal to K into first order in A means A raised to 1, second order in B, B raised to 2. So, that is first part is over, your 1 mark is over. Second part, how the rate changes when the concentration of A is doubled and B is tripled. So, you are told that how the rate is changed, how much the rate varies when A is doubled that is K into 2 into A doubled B is tripled B become 3 B raised to 1 raised to 2. So, you see K into 2 I am taking out A raised to 1, 3 I am taking out 3 square means 9 I am taking out B square, 9 2 sir. 18. So, it will be 18 into k a raised to 1 b raised to 2. So, how much the rate has increased? It has become 18 times. So, like that so many questions sometimes it will be asked the concentration of a is doubled b remain intact. So, you, you need to write 2a b is b only then. Sometimes it is asked both doubled. So, a become 2a b become 2b. Clear to you children? There are two questions I put up on the board which is uh, frequently type of questions frequently ask, asking in board examination. First question you see if a soda reaction takes 40 minutes for 30 percent decomposition means if initial concentration is 100, 30 percent decomposition means R your equation is K is equal to 2.03 by T log R0 upon R that is a rate constant expression for a first order uh, kinetics. So, T half as you know 0.693 by K from this what you need to clearly understand is R0 is initial concentration R is what is left out after a time T. So, initially if it is 100 30 percent completed what is